Welcome to I Am Best Reviews YouTube channel. We're so exhilarated that you stopped by today to check out our new review video. Today we're going to take a look at the important things that make Christmas a lovely time of year for all. Then we're going on a journey worldwide and check out a couple of countries that celebrate the holidays in warm, even hot weather, like Australia and New Zealand. And next we're going to check out a couple of countries that celebrate the holidays in cold, maybe snowy weather, like Hungary and Estonia. Our last stop will be Tunisia, that celebrates a different holiday in late December. So fasten your seatbelts. Here we go. When we think of Christmas, we think of snowflakes, dreaming of a white Christmas, building a snowman, the beauty of lights and candles and Christmas trees to brighten your day. Of course, vacations for some, time away from work and school and the routine. Then there is hot chocolate to warm you inside and out, along with candy and cookies baked by yourself or from special stores. But don't forget the eggnog to enjoy along with gingerbread cookies and houses. Ornaments are really special, whether they're handmade or special ones, along with stockings of every type, which are fun to fill. There are the Christmas parties, where we can enjoy time with workmates or friends and family, and the ugly Christmas sweaters just for fun, and the mistletoe for kissing that favorite person, plus presents, picking out each one a favorite gift. We love Christmas carols, listening to and playing Christmas songs. We can't forget about Santa and his sleigh and reindeer to bring gifts and cheer, plus the holiday cheer and feeling like a kid once again from five to 105 giving to others and remembering the less fortunate is especially important along with bringing happiness and good cheer but of course the Christ child is the whole meaning of the Christmas holiday now let's check out Australia you will hear choirs ringing in the season in the malls and Christmas markets there we will find delicious baked goods and handmade gifts to liven up the holiday they hold a Christmas tree concert and a sing-along. Their favorite one is near the Royal Botanical Gardens. But of course you won't find any chestnuts roasting over an open fire. But they do roast prawns on a barbecue in the midst of a hot sun, which may be 100 degrees Fahrenheit on Christmas Day. In Australia, people love to surf the waves instead of riding in a sleigh. The Australians love to exchange gifts along with enjoying a hot meal of ham, turkey, seafood, pastas, all types of salads, desserts, everything you can think of, or even a barbecue. But don't forget all kinds of ice cream. They do hang stockings and decorate their homes at the Christmas tree. Decorations in their homes consist of many flowers and other plants. They may even take a dip in the ocean or play cricket, even building a snowman made of sand. As in Australia, Christmas is summertime in New Zealand, and many people enjoy spending time at the beaches for their Christmas holiday. A lot of New Zealand towns hold Santa parades with floats that are decorated by local businesses. They see Santa wearing jandals or sandals. The children leave carrots out for Santa instead of milk, cookies, or maybe even pineapple chunks in a beer. Some of the towns put on Christmas light shows and displays along with Christmas caroling. Kiwis or New Zealanders have their own special Christmas tree, the Mahutukawa, and they grow to be exceptionally large trees and have bright red flowers on them. This tree has been used at Christmas time since the mid-1800s. They blossom in mid-December until the second week of January, which is perfect for the Christmas season. A barbecue is sometimes popular for Christmas lunch. Shrimps and fish are barbecued. They may enjoy a hot fruit pudding and ice cream. Christmas crackers are popular as our festive table decorations, but when pulled apart, they have a small gift inside. Now let's head for Hungary. The whole month of December is like a fairy tale in Hungary. You'll find three central tram lines decked out with dazzling fairy tale lights. They prepare for Christmas with celebration of Advent. Advent begins four Sundays before Christmas. They decorate their front yards and tables with beautiful Advent wreaths embellished with four candles. The four candles are lit one at a time 
Each Sunday before Christmas, they light one additional candle until the last one is lit on Christmas Eve. Most Hungarian children receive an advent calendar with a tiny door for each day before Christmas. Each day they open a door and they may find a Christmas picture or a piece of candy inside. The Hungarian version of St. Nicholas is Nicholas and is a similar figure to Santa Claus. The children wait for Nicholas by leaving their polished boots in their windows on December 5. The good children will find treats, chocolates, peanuts, or toys and books in their boots. But if the children have been naughty, they may find dry twigs in their boots instead of treats. St. Nicholas Day is celebrated on December 6 and he visits the kids in their schools. On December 24, the families get together to decorate the Christmas tree, enjoy eating together, and celebrating and exchanging gifts. Lights and sparkles are placed on the Christmas trees, plus some handmade ornaments and gingerbread and a Hungarian Christmas candy covered with chocolate and wrapped in silver, gold, and red shiny paper tied with bows. The Hungarian Christmas dinner consists of carp fish soup, fried fish, turkey, stuffed cabbage, and begli, which is a pastry fold filled with chestnuts, almonds, pistachios. The children are told that baby Jesus, or Jezuska, brings the tree already decorated along with gifts on Christmas Eve, and not Santa Claus. That is why the adults secretly decorate the tree and set up the gifts underneath it. Now we're going to take a look at Estonia. Situated in northeastern Europe, Estonia juts out into the Baltic Sea, which surrounds the country to the north and west. To the east, Estonia is bound by Russia. To the south, by Latvia. Estonia is of Scandinavian origin, and they both use the word Jul, which signifies the Christmas holiday. Tallinn, Estonia is the old city, but has ornate architecture and cobblestone streets. It has lovely churches and vibrant rooftops, but they've cared for it so well, one would think they're in a medieval times movie. The winter is freezing cold in this Baltic country, but during the Christmas season, Tallinn shimmers like many stars. The first Christmas tree in Europe was displayed in Tallinn in 1441, and the people used to dance around it and sing. Christmas is a time for Christ's birth and the mystical midwinter holiday season. On December 21, they begin with St. Thomas Day, the first day of winter solstice, and it lasts until Epiphany on January 6. But of course, December 24 and 25 are the most important festive holidays of all. Some even get into fortune-telling on the 24th and 25th, and aided by the stars and the frost, they predict the weather for the coming year. Some older traditions include going to a sauna or an outdoor piscine bath on Christmas Day. The tradition of Santa bringing presents is a new tradition to them. During Soviet occupation, Christmas was banned, but some still celebrated it in private. The Christmas tree is still the most important part of the Christmas holiday there. They also have some of the most exquisite Christmas markets ever seen. The different merchants sell many items, which include wool hats, ceramics, even perfumed candles. But don't forget the handmade wooden items which are necessary, as all have been created by hand by local persons. The people stop for a minute between shopping sprees to enjoy sauerkraut, blood sausages, and mulled wine at one of the market's festive food stands between their shopping sessions. Every year on the 24th of December, the mayor of Tallinn declares Christmas peace from the balcony of the medieval city hall. Declaring Christmas peace is a 350-year-old tradition in Estonia that began in the 17th century by the order of Queen Christina of Sweden. Next, there's an interesting holiday around Christmas time in Tunisia. Famed as the shooting location for the Star Wars movies, the mid-eastern town of Duz, Tunisia, is often labeled the Sleepy Gateway to Sahara. They don't celebrate Christmas, but for the last four days of December, the Arabic tribes living there transform the sandy desert into a magnificent spectacle. The International Festival of the Sahara Desert draws in many people to enjoy the sand hockey tournaments, delicious food, craft fairs, and more. Therefore, you will find large markets selling hundreds of traditional products and crafts. Plus, there is a mesmerizing music and acts of dare and dexterity. While wearing vibrant costumes, belly dancers and acrobatics will be everywhere. Performances include the hair dance, done by beautiful long-tressed ladies throwing their long hair into the sand at the feet of the drums. 
Unique events include horse racing, camel fights, more dancing, and music. You will see men with white clothes and headdresses along with women with their hijabs. Thank you so much for stopping by I Am Best Reviews YouTube channel today. Please like and subscribe and come back later to check out new review videos. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. May you enjoy whatever holiday you celebrate in December. And may you and yours stay happy, healthy, and safe. And thank you once again for stopping by.